This thing we call life has definitely been a journey for me. My musical journey started long ago when I was just a child and I thought it was over for me. But now I'm actually an international singer and I'm just getting started. So have a look inside my music life. Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and today is rehearsal day. So I am on my way to the studio and um, it's my guitar studio and we are going to rehearse for, for the um, upcoming performance. So yeah, you painted or something. Wow, it looks so different. Here we are. Right, I'm here in the studio and we are starting the rehearsals. Nia's over here already working hard. Do, 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 do. Combo is here in spirit. <laughs> he's, he's here in the flesh, but not right now. So, so yeah, making it happen. And there he is. Speaking of him. Hello. <laughs> Now he's here in the flesh. <laughs> It's the day, guys. It is the day. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's um, it's my show day. So this is my second show at Psy Wine Bar, and um, yeah, the first one was such a big success. Like um, yeah, it was it was just awesome. Everything went as planned. So I'm just like nervous today because I'm like. I hope that we have the same turnout, if not better. You know, I'm, I'm so like, I'm nervous that, you know, maybe the turnout won't be as good. Um, you know, just about my performance and everything. I don't know. It's, I always get nervous. I mean, as long as I've been singing forever, which I'll tell you about in a little bit, I'll kind of give you my backstory about my um, music career. But um, yeah, I, I still get nervous. I still get, af not afraid, but just nervous. So I've got a little bit of nerves this afternoon. <laughs> the show starts at seven, so I'm in preparation mode. I had to do a little bit of work this morning, so I was working, and now I'm just kind of switching roles here, life roles, <laughs> and um, I'm turning into the artist, and so, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of warming up, some vocal exercises. I really would have loved to do it as soon as I woke up. I try to do vocal exercises when I wake up in the morning. Even for your speaking voice, when you're a singer, you should be doing vocal exercises. So I wasn't able to do that this morning and I'm hot and sweaty, but um, let's get some in right now. Okay, I really vocal, like this lady. And today we are going to be doing down. some real vocal training. Ten minutes nonstop. I really like this this lady. You know, I can do my own, of course, but sometimes she's so fun, so I like to to do some with her. <laughs> Let's 
she's so encouraging too. <laughs>
just kind of was laughing about it and, and didn't think much else of it. When I got offered an opportunity, maybe a couple of months after I had that conversation with her, I was offered an opportunity to join a group to sing for a television show that was somewhat like American Idol in Japan. And so I was like, all right, fine, I'll, I'll do it. Like, why not, you know? It seemed like a good opportunity, so I took the opportunity, and that is kind of what kick-started my career, my singing career, my solo singing career, and then my singing career in Japan. From there, I went on to start doing my own, my own music. I started writing my own music and preparing to perform, not perform, but to record my own songs. So while I was doing that, I always had this um, dream. So one of my favorite artists is Jason Raz, and um, he was encouraging, I was watching a YouTube video of his once before, and he was like, you know, if you want to sing, just sing. Like, just invite your friends over and just sing. And I was like, wow, that is so cool. And so he would do that a lot, especially in the beginning of his career, but he even still to this day, does it where he calls these house shows and so he just invites a bunch of people over and has a little band and his little guitar and he sings and so um i had a dream of doing that one day and so that's what i did in japan um i had what i called a house show um it was a very intimate space i didn't actually have it in my home because in japan um they don't like noise so if your neighbors will complain if you're singing and having a concert in your, in your living room so I, I rented a very intimate space and yeah and I went ahead and did the show and it was a success it really was a success I had a really good time um, and I called it music and stories because it was just like I told stories and I sang and kind of brought the audience in and we had a really good time from there i went on to do another one and then i also planned a bigger concert on a stage and it was also very successful so that's kind of how i got started and that's kind of where i am now um, I'm not really sure where I want to go with it, honestly. Um, I do want to write some more music and produce some more and uh, make... I don't know if I want to do a whole album, but I definitely want to have some more songs out there for people to enjoy. As long as people aren't enjoying it, then I'm fine with, with doing it. It's just, as far as performing as well, I'm performing here now in Ghana, and um, I like it, I enjoy it, and people are enjoying it then we'll keep doing it so that's my story <laughs> welcome thank you for being here tonight welcome to Sai and, and I am Ty <laughs> <laughs> that was good right welcome to Sai I'm Ty <laughs> um and I'm also known as Ty Inspire most on social media so this song is original I have an album called Connection to Destiny. It is available on all media outlets. So whatever you, however you're getting your music, you can find me there as Ty Dillard. And the album is Connection to Destiny. So please go stream it, listen to it. Um, yeah.
the oceans of the fear, the pains I know, my destiny. I believe I can be all I dream The connection 